Hello everyone! Today, we're diving into some exciting news that's buzzing all over the internet. As most of you know, Chandrayaan-3 took off on July 14, 2023, and made a successful landing on the moon's surface on August 23. The success made India the fourth country, after the USSR, United States, and China to make a soft landing on the lunar surface. Today, we will be talking about Chandrayaan-3's landing and what tasks will it carry out on the moon. So, let's start from the beginning. For those who haven't heard about Chandrayaan, it's India's lunar exploration program. The first two missions were a huge success, but unfortunately, Chandrayaan-2 faced a minor setback during its landing phase. But guess what? India did not give up. The Indian Space Research Organization went back to the drawing board and came up with something extraordinary and named it Chandrayaan-3. Now let's talk about the mission itself. On July 14, 2023, Chandrayaan-3 took off from the Earth's surface with its primary goal to further explore the lunar surface of the Moon, specifically the South Pole. This region has intrigued scientists for years because it is believed to have water ice deposits. It could be a game-changer for future space exploration, and India is right at the forefront of it all. Unlike the last moon mission which failed, ISRO refined the technology used in Chandrayaan-2 to ensure a successful soft landing. They've learned from their previous experience and are implementing changes accordingly. With advanced navigation systems and improved landing techniques, ISRO made history once again. On August 23, ISRO successfully landed its Chandrayaan-3 missions lander module on the moon's surface. This is a big achievement for India because only a few other countries have done this before. India also became the first country to land close to the moon's south pole. You might wonder why no other country has ever landed a shuttle on the moon's south pole? Well, according to research, the polar regions of the moon are different. Many parts lie in a completely dark region without sunlight, and temperatures can go below 230 degrees Celsius. This creates difficulty in the operation of instruments. In addition, there are large craters all over the place. As a result, the polar regions of the moon have remained unexplored. The extremely cold temperatures could mean that anything trapped in the region would remain frozen in time without undergoing much change. The rocks and soil in moon's north and south poles could therefore provide clues to the early solar system. Now, a rover named Pragyam will be deployed on the moon's surface, which will have one lunar day to gather all the information. One lunar day is equivalent to around 29 Earth days. It's like two weeks of day and two weeks of night. However, the rover will only be able to gather information for 14 days, as the instruments present in Chandrayaan-3 are not made to withstand lunar nights. One of the missions which has to be done in 14 days is to hunt for water-based ice, which scientists say could support human habitation on the moon in future. It could also be used for supplying propellant for spacecraft headed to Mars and other distant destinations. Scientists say the surface area that remains in permanent shadow is huge and could hold reserves of water ice. The lander and the rover are carrying five scientific instruments, which will help discover the physical characteristics of the surface of the moon. Moreover, it will also discover the atmosphere close to the surface and the tectonic activity to study what goes on below the surface. The lander is carrying several scientific instruments, which will help find out what goes on the moon's surface and above and below it. Whereas, Pragyayan is carrying two scientific instruments which will try to find out what minerals are present on the lunar surface and study the chemical composition of the soil. Pragyayan will communicate only with the lander which will send the information to the orbiter from Chandrayaan-2, which is still circling the moon. Then, Chandrayaan-2 will pass it on to the Earth for analysis. It is also carrying an Indian flag and its wheels also have ISRO's logo and emblem embossed on them so that they leave imprints on the lunar soil during the moonwalk. Chandrayaan-3 has sent Earth its first images of the moon captured during lunar descent after its historic soft landing on the lunar south pole on August 23, 2023. 
The Lander Horizontal Velocity Camera captured these images during descent. The Indian Space Research Organization said in a mission update that communication link between Chandrayaan 3's Vikram lander and the mission operations complex has been established. Let's shift gears here and talk about the impact of Chandrayaan 3. Space missions like these inspire countless young minds to pursue careers in fields like astrophysics, engineering, and technology. India has always been committed to promoting scientific curiosity, and with every mission, they bring us one step closer to unlocking the mysteries of our universe. Well, my friends, that's all we have for today's episode on India's Chandrayaan-3 landing news. We hope you enjoyed diving into the details with us, and we can't wait for this historic moment to unfold. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you all so much for watching, and remember, we are living in an era where space exploration is becoming more accessible, and maybe one day, we'll witness humans taking their footsteps on the moon. Until then, stay curious and keep reaching for the stars.